So a few months ago, Jim Jeffries, producer, contacted me and asked me to come on as a guest to his show. Now, I agreed with two conditions. One, there'll be no neo-Nazi or Nazi sympathizers on the same segment because I don't want to be aligned to them and I don't want to give them any legitimacy or anything like that. Common sense. The second one was that they don't cut my answers from one question and put it to another. Now, to my horror, but not my surprise, they did exactly both. Both those things. But they went even further. They connected me to the Christchurch killer, to the terrorist. The New Zealand shooter left behind a detailed record of his anti-immigrant, anti-Muslim rhetoric. And unfortunately, these days, this kind of intolerance is being tolerated in more places than you might think. So it's important to remember that this was filmed a few months ago and not in response to the Christchurch massacre as they seem to be alluding here. I was shocked to hear that the prick allegedly behind the Christchurch New Zealand mass shootings is a white supremacist who grew up and was radicalised in Australia. So what is the situation down there? And what are the people who may have radicalised him saying? White people like myself feel happy and safe around my culture, my people. Sherman's a Nazi. You broke rule one in 20 seconds. And this anti-immigration fervour is uniting some strange groups. It turns out that the one thing that can bring together the alt-right and the Jew is their shared hatred of Muslims. Meet Jewish activist Avi Yememi, a good Australian name. Luckily, I'm not an idiot, and I knew what their plan was all along. Well, they flew me to Singapore, put me in a hotel for a couple of days there. What was I to expect? It was a setup. So what I did was, I got there and I secretly put my phones down to record the entire segment. Now over the next few days, I'm gonna release a bunch of little clips that are important that he specifically didn't add to the piece. We filmed for about an hour and there's about three or four minutes where he's included little snippets. So in the next few days, I'm going to release little bits that are important that I think everyone needs to see. But if you're on my Patreon, you can see the entire hour, I'll upload it within the next week. Islamic immigration, cut it. Now what makes Arvi suddenly feel so comfortable saying this shit out loud? I always stand by my words and I say it publicly, loudly and proudly. I won't say in private something different than what I'll say in public. And if I get it wrong, which I have at times, and I feel necessary to apologise, I have done it and I will do it. I might sound like a hippie saying this. What gives anyone the right to tell anyone where they can and can't live? When you import this culture, what do you think is going to happen? Australia's going to end up the same shithole that they came from that they were escaping. Watch how Jim Jeffries has edited this last clip to make me look like an ass. See what I really said. What gives anyone the right to tell anyone where they can and can't live? Really. Like, um, like, borders, though. I know, like, no right? borders, yeah. but wouldn't it just be nice if if we got to a place in society where we, we had utopia, no, well, a, this a is, utopia, where we all just lived as I, 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 on, 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 on a level I agree you with You may say I think, I'm a dreamer. I think, I think most, most people, most, you know, sensible people would agree with you in theory. Yeah. But in practice, it's not, it's a, it goes against human nature. It just doesn't work. You bloody scumbag, Jim. You see those rubbish edits through the entire segment, I don't even need to show you. You get my point. They put one answer to a different question. But today what I really wanna show you is how Jim Jeffries speaks about Islam, about their prophet Muhammad, and about Muslims themselves when he thinks the cameras aren't rolling or when he knows he can cut it out. So Muhammad is considered the perfect man. Right, yes. Okay? You can't and draw a picture of it. No, don't you dare, don't you dare. I've got enough death threats on me, brother. There he is. Jesus Christ. There he is, he looks like a wobbly ghost. He's finally gonna understand his life <laughs> after this shit comes down. <laughs> That's what you do, Jimmy, when you think no one's going to see it. Now, I don't actually have a problem if you draw Muhammad, to be honest, that's, that's me. But people like you call me an Islamophobe because that riles up, that upsets, that 
in your words, triggers the Muslim into violence. Now, I wonder when this goes far and wide and help it, share it around, let the world see. I want to see if the leftists condemn Jim. And even more so, what I'm interested to see is the people that he is hell-bent on protecting, the people that he is fighting so hard to let into Australia and the US, let's see how they react when they see him mock their prophet. You know what the punishment for blasphemy is, Jim? I wish you luck, brother. But it gets worse. Watch what he says when the cameras aren't rolling. I'm not a big fan of Islam. I think that wearing a burqa is stupid and demeaning and all these things. Islam. Islam, Islam. or dingo? Islam and dingo, dingo sneaky? Yeah. Probably both. Probably both. Dangerous? Right. Probably both. Probably both. The dingo ate a baby. It turned yeah. out she, it did eat a baby. Yeah, if it ate a bloody Muslim baby, it would have vomited. No, I don't actually no, agree that's with that shit. Isn't it? I'm only joking. But that's not funny, you're talking about fucking killing kids. No, it's not that's funny. crossing a line, there's a fucking uh, line. We've got this bit out, I, I never look bad in these interviews. He's right. Jim never looks bad in his own segments. He edits it perfectly. And nine out of ten times he wins. He makes people like me look bad. Like Jordan Peterson, Peterson look bad. But today, I got you, brother. How's it feel? Okay. So that's all I'm saying to you, is that... We don't disagree at all. That, Nah, mate, we don't agree. I never, ever, ever even joke about killing Muslims. So I'm gonna ask you all at home, make sure to share this far and wide. Share it with everyone. Because Jim works with the establishment, he has the mainstream media, he has the platform, he has the numbers. But I, I have you. Share it around.